in today's session we will be seeing about booth bit pair recording algorithm for signed multiplication okay the number what we have chosen is minus 14 into 6 so it gives the answer as minus 84 now we will move on to your bit pair recording table in which the multiplicand is minus 14 and the multiplier is 6. So, for this multiplier, what are the rules to be followed? Let us see. So, in multiplier, we have to take like 3 bits. i plus 1 bit, i and i minus 1 bit. So, in the previous session, we have seen about the booth recording or your booth bit recording wherein we have taken each and every bit whereas here so we will be taking two bits at a time that is whenever you are going to take we are going to i'm sorry we are going to take three bits at a time so when three bits are going to be taken at a time the number of byproducts is going to be reduced by half so the number of arithmetic operations also will get reduced to half Okay, so in this, the initial value is 0, 0, 0. So for which the multiplicand selected is 0 into m. So if we move on to 1, 1, 1. So for this also, the multiplicand selected is 0 into m. So that is the first condition. If my value, all the inputs are going to be 0 or all my inputs are going to be 1. So we know that 0 into m results in 0. The next thing, when the uh, multiplier are going to be in the form of 0, 0, 1 or 0, 1, 0, the multiplicand chosen is plus 1. So, you are just going to write the multiplicand value as it is because it is just multiplied by 1. The next case, if it is going to be 0, 1, 1, then we have to take the condition as plus 2 into m. Okay, so plus 2 into m, what does it signify? It is nothing but suppose I am having 2, okay, I have to multiply it by 10, let us say. So, 2 into 10, 20. It is nothing but in LSB, I have to add 0 and then I have to shift left, okay. So, that is the concept. For example, if I am having the data 10010, okay. So, this 10010, it is nothing but the 2's complement of minus 14, so, we have just taken this data and then we have shifted left by 1 bit, 10010 and then we have to add a 0 if at all your multiplicand is going to be 2 cross m. Okay. So, you are just going to shift and add in your LSB a 0. Now, we move on to your 101. Okay. Or if it is going to be 110, we know that it is minus 1 into m. So, when I say it is minus 1 into m, it is nothing but we already know, we have seen in the booth uh, bit recording principle, minus 1 is into m is nothing but we have to take the 2's complement of the multiplicand. Okay, now the next thing is you are having minus 2 into m. Okay, if the value is going to be 1, 0, 0, the value, uh, the thing it has to be multiplied is minus 2 into m. We already know for plus 2 into m, whatever the given data, we have shifted left and added 1 L 0 in the LSB. So, when whenever you want to do proceed for minus 2 into m, it is nothing but. So, whatever the result you have got for plus 2 into m, the, for this result, you have to take the 2's complement. For example, the data is 100100. So, 1's complement will be. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, plus 1, if I add, I'll get the 2's complement, the result is shown here. So, only if you know this logic, we can proceed with the given problem. 0 into m means it is 0, 1 into m means you will get the same multiplicant value, then minus 1 into m is nothing but it is 2's complement of the multiplicant, you have two more cases with regard to your bit pair recording. Plus 2 into m means whatever the given data, shift left and add LSB 0. Whenever you are going to have minus 2 into m, it is nothing but whatever you have done for plus 2 into m, you have to take the 2's complement of the answer and add 1 to it. Okay. So, now we will proceed on to the problem. The problem is 14. What is the value for 14? 
one 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 zero. So this one represents your signed bid. For this fourteen, you can follow the eight four two one code. Eight four two one. Eight plus four is twelve. Twelve plus two is fourteen. So we will follow the eight four two one code. This one represents that it is a signed bid. In six, it is a positive number, so the sign bit is zero. So the value for your six is zero one one zero. So we are going to do the recoding only for this multiplier. Multiplicand is going to be as it is, since it is a signed number. So in order to proceed with the calculation, we'll convert that into the two's complement because you have a negative sign. So in this, the signed bit will be kept as it is. For triple one zero, the ones complement is zero 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 one. Okay, so we are just inverting the zeros to ones and ones to zero. So it is zero 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 one. So when I want to find the two's complement, I will add one to it. So the value will be one zero zero one plus one is ten. So zero zero one. This is the two's complement of fourteen. Now this two's complement of fourteen one zero zero one zero. It has been written here. Okay, now once if it is a positive number, you can write it as it is. If it is going to be a negative signed number, then in that case you have to take the two's complement. That value has been written here. Now for the second value six, we have to find out the bit pair recoding. Okay, now whatever the given number that I've written in green. Zero zero one one zero. That is the given number. Okay, we have to proceed from your LSB least significant bit. This will be taken as i. So i minus one data to be there. So we will add one more zero after the LSB. This becomes l minus one, which is shown in red color. Okay, now we will take all the three data. What are the three data we have to take? I plus one, I, I minus one. So I plus one, I, I minus one. So these three data is to be taken. For one zero zero, what is the multiplicand? It is minus two into m. Okay, so it is minus two. Next we'll take the next three digits zero one one. So for zero one one, the multiplicand value is plus two. Now zero zero zero. For this, the value is zero. So the recorded value of the given number six is zero plus two minus two. So just take three bits at a time. So since i minus one is not there, initialize with zero. Then one zero zero is minus two. Zero one one is plus two. Zero 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 is zero. So now we will proceed on with the multiplication. Process. So first thing, I have to multiply this uh, multiplicand value. This one zero zero one zero is nothing but the two's complement of the given number minus fourteen. Okay. So for this number only, I have initially itself kept and uh, wrote it on the right hand side and kept what is the value of plus two into m minus two into m. So what is the significance minus two into m means first we have to do plus two into m. So I've taken the number. I have to shift left and add a LSB as zero. Now when I want to have it as a minus two, you just take the two's complement of the given number. So it is zero one one zero one one plus one. So the value is one plus one is ten. One plus one is ten. One 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 and zero. So zero triple one zero zero. So that whatever is a minus two multiplied value, I have written it here. So now, how many zeros had to be added in front? So it is nothing but whatever is your multiplicand value, whatever the number of bits your multiplier has added together will be your total number of bits. So this is also five bits, and the multiplier also five bits. So the answer should be in terms of ten bits. How many bits are there now? Just uh, just calculate the one which is written in green color. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. So now this is your initial data. As I've just shown by arrow, just for understanding. Now all the previous data, so other four zeros, whatever is your MSB here, the same MSB should be copied. Okay. So uh, with regard to your usual multiplication, whenever I'm going to multiply the next value, I have to shift by two digits. Usually we will be shifted by only one digit, whereas here we'll be shifted by two bits. 
okay so that uh, that should be the thing so initially when we are writing so as usual when I, it came like writing initial next to this which is quite wrong so if you are making mistake in one place also whole of your answer would become wrong right so now plus two plus two it is nothing but you have to just copy the same value one zero zero one zero and add a, a lsb zero so this data only has been rewritten here my msb is one so in the other two places I have to put the value as 1. The next thing is 0. So, all the values will be 0. Now, we will proceed on for the addition. So, this is 0. This is 0. 1. 1. 1 plus 1 is 10. So, a carry is there 1. So, it is 1. All the places 0. So, 1. And here also it is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Now, we have arrived at the result once the result is arrived so we should check whether whenever we are converting this binary value to decimal are we getting the same value to check that our answer is correct or not so here if at all your msb is one it says that your answer is going to be a negative so if the answer is going to be negative what is the procedure for the result you have to take the two's complement right so if the msb is one take the two's complement and verify your answer Okay, so now leaving this MSB, what are the values 1101? It is written as 0001 and then it is 1011. So 0100, just taking the ones complement. Here it is 0011 plus 1. Okay, so and when you are adding this, 1 plus 1 is 10, 1. 1 plus 1 is 10, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1 only is there, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. So, this is the value we have got. Now, you can take the two powers and take 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 is there. So, I have written it here. 2 power 3 is absent. 2 power 4, 2 power 2, 2 power 4, 2 power 6 is there. So, you just add it on the right hand side for your understanding. 2 power 2, 2 power 4 plus 2 power 6. 2 power 2 is 4, 2 power 4 is 16, 2 power 6 is 64. Totally you are getting as 84. So the same answer you get, okay, minus 14 into 6 is 84. That is minus 84, okay. Since we have taken the 2's complement, we are arriving at the same answer. Thank you.